Welcome to a short tutorial on how to benchmark your system with Forza Horizon 5. Simply launch the game, go to settings and choose the graphics tab. Then select a suitable preset. Ultra is recommended for comparison's sake. If you want to change the resolution, go to the video tab. 1080p and 1440p with ultra settings are very popular benchmark settings and best for comparisons across the web. You can play around with the presets and also the resolutions to see which configuration works best for your system and visual needs. A word of caution though, AMD cards tend to perform slightly worse in the benchmark mode compared to actual gaming performance in Forza Horizon 5. If you're done with the selection, you can simply click on Start Benchmark Mode. Forza Horizon 5 will now render and display a pre-recorded race. The course lies within a crowded area in one of the game's cities. It starts at night and will fade to a rainy sunrise. After the benchmark is done, you will get an overview. On the upper left hand side, you can see basic system information. Windows 10, a 3070 Ti graphics card and a Risen 5 5600X. Also shown are the resolution and the refresh rate. Below the system summary are the visual settings. The most interesting part though is the performance summary on the right hand side. While recording, I achieved around 82 frames per second on ultra settings with a 1440p resolution. When not recording, it is slightly more with 85 FPS. The FPS are shown with the orange line in the graph above. Every large dip is represented in the so called stutter count. The GPU and CPU render are summarized in the three columns FPS average, FPS minimum, and FPS maximum. However, the graph is much more detailed and tells you whether your CPU limits your GPU or the other way around. In my case, the blue CPU dots are above the yellow GPU dots. That means that my GPU is the bottleneck. You can also see that information in the GPU limited percentage, which says 96.8. To sum it up, my system would benefit from a GPU upgrade for this particular game. At least in theory. It's not like you could easily buy a GPU these days.